Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through how to use Noteshelf for digital planning and go through some of the functionality within there. I'm going to be using one of our digital planners, this is our dated version for 2021. And I'm going to start with in Noteshelf, once you're in a document, I'm just going to go through the functionality along the top. And then I'll go back to the dashboard later on. So if you go to the top left, you've got the arrow pointing left, this will take you back to the dashboard as we shall see later. Then you've got the plus icon, so if you tap this, you've got... Um, page so you can insert a page you can insert a page from a template and also from a photo i won't go through them because they're not particularly relevant in the use of digital planning because you'll already have a pre-made document in there but what is useful is you can access your photos so if you click on photo it will come up as like an explorer where you can go into different folders and then pick your photo alternatively you can go to your camera it's a black screen but it's going to your camera so you can then take a photo and then import it directly straight in and then you've also got um, clip art now clip art's quite useful in uh, note shelf so you can access all of this as free images from pixabay so you can just select one from here and just add it in so just tap it brings it in and you can just resize it straight away move it around to where you want it to go to so it's quite it's quite useful collection of different stickers that you can have in there i'm just going to delete that for now and if i hit the plus icon again you can do audio so you can record your voice. You can import a document which adds it as, as separate pages. And you can also bookmark this page, give it the orange tag. Now, if you've got obviously the undo button and if you long press, you'll have redo as well. So we have the, the pen icon. So in here, if you tap on it, you can change the different sizes. You can, you can change the different pen and you can, as I say, change the different sizes and change the different colors. You can also, as I say, edit colors. I'm just going through here. You can add a color and you can pick it on the different spectrum where you want to pick. Let me just add this. What you can do is once you've selected the colors that you would like to have, you can also select the size and then you can hit the heart icon. And what that will do is it will just save it in your favorites. So instead of having to redo that each time, you can just now go to your favorites, select the pen, and then when you write, it'll be this version. You also have the highlighter. So we have the highlighter function, so you can pick either a ballpoint pen or the, um, the, the typical highlighter ones that is slightly um, diagonally edged. And you can change the sizes as well. And again, you've got a favorite function, you can change the colors and so on. Good thing with the highlighter function is no matter how much you highlight, you'll still be able to see the items underneath. So this is the eraser icon and you've got different functions in here. You can change the size along the top. You can clear the whole page. I guess auto select previous tool so probably once you've done it it will go back to the previous tool erase a highlighter only so that way if you've got writing underneath so let me just do this you've got writing underneath you've got a highlighter over the top of it and you don't want to actually erase the actual text what you can do is erase highlighter only do that and it doesn't impact the strokes and then what you can do is take that off now this erase entire stroke is just if you erase just the tip of it it will wipe it all out can do undo now but if you turn that off i'm just gonna make it smaller you can actually do part of the stroke so just in pieces so next for the t for text icon so just select this and then just double tap where you want to enter text then you can just put in the text that you would like to put in and you can change on here the different colors so you can see on here we can just change the text you can change the size to make it bigger you can change the font fonts available on here. You can also center it and change then the size of the actual text box to make it the right proportion but you can also center it if you wanted to and, and put it in there. So these are the different styles that you're able to put on bold, italic, underline etc. I'm just gonna go through. You do have for example emojis you can add in, there's some smart content and you can connect it to get put some gifts directly in and some other usages on there as well. So next, moving on to the dotted square, this is like the lasso tool. So what you can do is just lasso the whole area, then you can just drag it around. So it does allow you to multi-select multiple parts or just individual elements. What you can do is on here, you can do color and change the color from here. So it just changes the color of the lines or of text. And you can also resize you can resize the text, yeah, make that bigger. And same for the lines, you can resize it as you would like. So 
we can use the Lasso tool to also delete the objects. I'm just going to say delete and delete. You do have the functionality in here, so let's suppose I put in test. You can lasso the icon, say to test, it work, tries to work out and convert it, and then you can say convert to text box, and you can see text boxes in here. So lastly, um, so this is just the no pen icon, and what that just allows you to do is just use your finger to, uh, to move around the planner, and you can tap on the hyperlinks and go through to the different pages. Now, one thing I quite like with Note Shelf is if you're actually on the pen icon, you can actually just, um, even though you can write on it, you can also tap these hyperlinks and it tries to work out whether or not you're trying to write on it or if you're trying to use a hyperlink. So for example, if I actually wrote on here and did that, you can see it hasn't initiated the hyperlink, but if I just tap on it, it uses a hyperlink. So it tries to work out what it is that you're trying to do or not do. We've got this shapes icon. So if you tap this, what this will do is it will snap it into place. So for example, if I try and draw a circle, you can see I make a snow circle and also it's square, it just snaps it. So then you've also got um, this, which is the share icon. So this is how you can actually export your planner. Um, and you can, if you go all pages, you can do it as PNG or PDF. I'll show you later, but you can also do it as a note shelf file. So just in case you want to back up your file, um, you can do it somewhere else. So you've got the note shelf um, uh, format, so you can import it in with all the objects still available, so you can move them around. Okay, so let's turn off the shapes icon if you go to this next one it's got it is the pages one now i've i've already dragged this out so you can see more, more uh, pages um once you've done that i'm just going to go along the top so if we go to search and we put in for example test it will search through the whole notebook and find so you can see it's picked up our text box from earlier i'm just going to clear that out then if you go through this one which is like a settings you can just look at all pages or you can look at bookmarked ones ones that you've tagged as we did earlier so i'm just going to tick that and you can see now it's come up with the, uh, the January month that we had previously ticked. So this can be used if you've got certain pages that you want to be able to jump to, you want to be able to do as a priority and, and quickly flick to them. Now I'm just going to go back to all pages. So then if I just go to the edit section now. So we've got edit here. So you obviously you can delete a page. Let me just go to one. So you could delete a page and then hit delete and it will remove that. Or you can duplicate. So let's suppose there's a template I wanted to copy. Hit duplicate, copies it here. What you can then do, select it. Now you can move it to a different planner, so you can find a different planner you wish to add it to. But ignoring that, supposing you wanted to move it within the same planner, you just need to long press and then just drag it. And you'll go be able to go to where in the planner you want to put it to. Suppose I had it by a daily page, you can just add it in to there. And then you've got a page, for example, behind a particular daily page that you might want to use. Um, and there's various different templates such as habit trackers and goal settings and finances and so on. So different ones you're able to add through. So now if I just go back to that pages section. So now we've gone through this section here. The only other bit to note is you can just bookmark um, pages just by directly just tapping on here. And as we mentioned, if you go to this settings and go to bookmarked, they now show up. So it's just an easy way to, to flag them up. So the last bit to mention is just this uh, spanner for settings. So what you can do is change page template, which isn't relevant for, for here, and I'll show a bit later about these page templates, how you can use them outside of a particular digital planner. Obviously, you will want to toggle stylus on if you're using the stylus. If you didn't like the ability to, um, uh, if you didn't like the fact that when you're typing on it, it initiates hyperlinks, you can just disable that on here. So you can just disable. So now it won't initiate the hyperlinks. Let's suppose we wanted to bring in images into this page from a different document. What you can do, Go into, for example, I'm just going to move in some of these stickers. So I'm just going to circle the stickers I want, hit copy, go back, go to the planner, then just press on the lasso icon and then hit paste and it brings the it brings in the banners. We just circle it again. So you can then pick them up individually and you can resize as you would like to decorate your planner. So hopefully that helps and we do have in our stickers pack we have over a thousand different stickers in here so um, and then this all comes with our each of our digital planners so you can bring them in put them in um, to your planners and decorate as you would like if you like this so far please like and subscribe for more digital planning tips um, but now moving on to dashboard and the settings within here 
this cog icon, you can do a few things such as changing the appearance, you can change the colour of the, the bar at the top, and whether or not you show the date they were made on each of the uh, note shelf documents. You can select the handwriting so it can uh, best predict what you're trying to write, and also set the language. Obviously, make sure you're enabling stylus if you're using one, and you can also do it so it recognises the sensitivity of the pressure that you apply when writing. Um, I recommend setting up a backup and then connect it to your cloud login so it, that way it would sync across and you'd always have a, a document in case there was a problem with your device. Advanced only shows the disable hyperlinks, which we've already covered a bit earlier. Um, and then we've got these three covers and page templates, which I'll come back to in a minute because they're quite useful. Um, so before I get into that, um, we've got the categories down the left hand side so you can organise your planner and the, your documents so you can set them within these folders. If you just hit the folder icon with the plus, icon in the bottom right, you can then just create a new category and add it. Once you've added a new category, you can just long press on one of your documents, hit move, and then just select the category. So in this case I'll do planners, just move it, and you can see that it's moved to here. So that way you can just better organise your, your documents. Then you have recently used down the left hand side, you have um, this uh, toggle which just takes off this panel on the left. Then we've got the plus icon, so you can quick create a notebook. So this just does um, the last uh, sort of notebook you use. So it uses a um, preset front cover and the page template. You can also do a new notebook where you specify what your front cover and template you wish to use is. And then also you have, for example, important documents, photos, or even scanning a document with your camera. So I'm just going to do a quick create so you can see how it works. So quick create just creates a notebook and opens it up so you can write straight away. And I'll come back to that document in a second. The magnifying glass allows you to search throughout all your different um, documents. It's just entering a keyword. It can also pick up handwriting, although it does take a bit of time for it to, to, to scan through every document. This just allows you to sort between either name or date. And then the select button allows you to say, pick, a, pick one of your documents. Then you've got the share icon. So this allows you to export it as PNG, PDF, but also, as I mentioned earlier, a note shelf version. So this is the Android note shelf version. You can't import an Android one onto an iPad and vice versa. Unfortunately, they're separate um, documents. You can duplicate, move it to different categories, delete, change the cover, rename, and group up files. You can also get the similar sort of menu just by long pressing on one of the documents, and then you get a similar sort of set of options here. So the last bit I did want to touch on that, that I mentioned comes from this free covers bit is if you go into here, you can see that you have um, lots of different options from Noteshelf. You do have to sign up to be able to download these. They are quite useful. Um, so for example, um, I've already downloaded some of these for students and productivity. So once you sign up, you can just hit a download button and it will, it will basically bring these into a, a templates that you're able to use. So if I now go out of here and I just go into say the one that I just made, you can number one, hit the plus icon, page from templates, and you can see down the side I've got productivity. And then you can basically bring in a, a, a page and insert it straight away. Also, if you're using it, but you actually wanted to change it, you change your mind, you just do change page, page template and select it through here and you just have it through through this um, categories on the left. So the more you add, the more options you have to, to access that. So it's quite an, a nice way to be able to add to your different templates. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and do check out in the description uh, more details on our digital planner and where to buy it from. It does come with over a thousand stickers, over 50 templates and many different bundles are available so you can kind of tailor the planner to how you would like it. Um, please give us a shout in the comments if you've got any questions. Thanks very much.